This is somebody who's joined the club in 2015. He'll go down regardless of what happens this summer or next summer. as one of the greatest players in Manchester City history. Look at what he's won over the course of the last few seasons. Six Premier League titles, two FA Cups, five Carabao Cups, one Champions League, one Club World Cup. And last season, we saw him miss five months of action. He played 26 matches. He laid on 18 assists in those 26 games. So he's still so important to Manchester City. And when you look at his assists over his time in the Premier League, only Ryan Giggs has more. 50 assists. Can De Bruyne catch that if he stays for the next few years? Well, the rate he's going, he probably could. But only four other players have got 100 Premier League assists or more. And De Bruyne was the quickest to get to 100. He's been a remarkable player. You can see why Man City fans would not want to see him go. Despite the fact he's 32, turns 33 later this month, and he is out of contract next summer. Yeah, uh, it might come as a shock, but Pep Guardiola isn't afraid to let some of his big names leave, though, is he? That's true, and City have always been willing to listen to offers for players who want to leave the club. And we've seen some huge names depart over the course of the last two seasons. Last summer, Cole Palmer departed on deadline day. Riyad Mahrez and Armand Laporte went to the Saudi Pro League. The season before that... They sold two players to one of their nearest rivals at Arsenal in the form of Gabriel Jesus and Alexander Zinchenko. And Chelsea got their hands on Raheem Sterling as well. Interestingly, you could maybe draw comparisons with what happened with Ilkay Gundogan, a player over the age of 30. Man City not willing to give him an extended contract. He left on a free last summer. And you'd think that City are unlikely at this point to offer anything other than a one-year contract extension to Kevin De Bruyne. So you can understand why at his age, he's thinking about life away from Manchester City and looking to maybe secure his long-term future at the age he is now. Yeah, Riyad Mahrez and Amrit Laporte and others, big moves uh, out to Saudi Arabia. But if they were to get Kevin De Bruyne, it'd be some coup, wouldn't it, for the Saudi Pro League? It would be, and you could say it would almost be on par with bringing in Neymar and Ronaldo over the last few seasons. This is quite impressive, the number of players and the calibre of the names that the Saudi Pro League have been able to bring in. This is over the course of the last 12 months. We mentioned Mahrez and Laporte from Manchester City. But you've got players that are at their peak of their powers, really, with the likes of St. Maximan, with the likes of Ruben Neves and Mitrovic. So if they were to be able to bring a player like Kevin De Bruyne in, then it would really be a, a highlight just where this league wants to go to. And it's going to be really interesting to see this summer just what an impact the Saudi Pro League has on this summer transfer window and clubs in the Premier League.